What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am coming to you with a very special One Hive Labs episode. Uh, this was a mixed scrim set up by Do Work Son. This guy does so much. <laughs> no pun intended. This guy does work, son. <laughs> for our 2.0 family he just is constantly on the go setting up these matches um so this was a mixed scrim between te with temple rising members and members from 2.0 invicta swarm and venom i believe so there are town hall eights in there uh it was a really fun fun time for everyone so 77 to 74 legacy team legacy comes away with the victory over hashtag legends um the score doesn't mean much though guys i mean there's no bully attacks allowed right um the only thing that we really really happened was papa did i mean we only had one town hall 11 so one of their attacks had to go on these tens uh the other one was uh heads up against each other <clears throat> so you can see papa ended up with a three star on gooch there um other than that right it's all nines on nines eight on eight on eights so uh, the score really doesn't say much um uh, i was trying to figure out what i wanted to do in regards to recapping this um i'm not going to do your typical recap i'm going to do a special episode um after i kind of mention a few things here so uh, i just want to say though one eye venom um a lot of these Town Hall 8 attackers, like, these guys are killing it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Venom's on about a 15 or 16 win streak at the moment. Um, they are producing some really quality guys. I am extremely happy uh, to see the success of Venom and, and kind of how it's been leading up since we started the clan, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. Uh, I am really happy that we did, though, because we're letting a lot of quality players in at the Town Hall 8 level, uh, and we're just going to groom them into the family, right? You know, we're uh, nearing capacity on 2.0 and Invicta. It's uh, recruiting is becoming tighter and tighter. Our selecting is becoming, um, you know, fewer and fewer. That doesn't mean people aren't getting promoted. It just means we're really putting a lot of weight now on your performance, specifically um, your activity within the clan, not only helping your, uh, you know, sketching your own plans and having your own success, but helping everyone else. Um, as far as I know, our family is the only family in, in One Hive Evicta. We have a group. Um, hope I'm <laughs> hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries by saying this, uh, but we have a group in Invicta. We call them our spec op leaders. Now, these people are specifically put into place for newer members or struggling members that uh, need help with their attacks. And these spec op members will one-on-one -on -one personally uh, help um, guys that need it in the clan, help them uh, plan and prepare their attacks and just get out of the slump that they're in or whatever it, it is. Um, as far as I know, I think we're the one of the only clans that does has a specific group that does that. I know that's probably a general feeling that most clans do have, right? But um, I know a lot of clans out there that if you're underperforming, you just you get the boot, <laughs> right? You're expected to, to know on your own. But that is why Invicta is our arranged matchup training clan uh we really try and put guys in place to to help guys break through any slumps or just get their game to the next level and uh continue to be part of the 2.0 family so anyways with that being said venom love you guys down there it was really a pleasure getting to war with this uh, war with a bunch of you um i know Bologna. where is she there is she on the other side she's on our team uh, Bologna specifically, I constantly, I, I've been in Venom chat for a while now on our line chats. I see uh, Bologna just really, really stepping up and doing a lot for the clans. Um, Venom specifically, really getting people organized, kind of getting the recruits in and stuff. So just wanted to give a shout out there, Bologna. Just uh, you do a lot of work for the 2.0 family, and I did not want that to go unrecognized. Um, other than that, guys, here is my idea. So, my man Kadic, uh, one of the best, the best base builder and one of the best attackers in this game that I know, <clears throat> has a little game whenever we end up in a mixed scrim. He always has to hit my base. And I was wondering how my base had not been hit uh, until I think like maybe six hours to go in the war, something like that. <laughs> and I was wondering who had it. I would guess Kadic had, had it, and he did. And he first hit three started it. So um, now, in, in fairness to myself, uh, I did work late. I was going to build a whole new base. I had to recycle an old base, and I just went in, tweaked it, moved some things around, adjusted some things that I had seen. It actually had quite a bit of success in one of our arranged matchups, the one I built it for. Uh, I forget 
which one that was, but I know it had, uh, it took four attacks on it to three star it, but Kadic just walks in here. Now keep in mind, this is post update. So he is 30 seconds less. It is all the new, uh, new rules are all in effect or new old rules, whatever you want to call them. Um, so keep that in mind here. Now, uh, the healers are giving the heroes a little bit of extra healing. At least that seems to be a known issue on the forums at the moment. So that is going to get addressed. Uh, but still, Kadic just rocks my base. Uh, so what I wanted to do here is not only show him three-starring my base, but I'm going to give you guys a scout. And I'm going to tell you the things that I was thinking when I built this base. Um, you know, so sort of going to slate... Oh, sorry, my headset. So I decided I'm going to slay my own base. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about the th everything that Kadic and I talk about in the slay my base stuff real quick. So first, we're going to start off with the queen chamber. So um, she's obviously surrounded by buildings three by three. She is not hopping out any walls. Now, she will chase. Um, there is no moat on the outside. I do know. I do I did recognize that. Um, that's why the king is out there. Um kind of an easy king swap but he's going to lock on to anything ahead of time there's two cannons right up front that should be in range if anything locks onto that king um and then the queen's going to step up and do some damage as well i was hoping it would thwart some dragons maybe pull some dragons off of their target um you know so overall i think this was a decent little queen chamber um it obviously you know you send a bunch of, it's so compact i think that's the problem but i really wanted to try and save some walls elsewhere i wanted uh the most shallow queen chamber i could but if you throw um, a bunch of the, my my issue with this was i'm like yeah handful of valks in there under a heel and obviously that very valuable compartment is going to go down very quickly um but it is what it is you got to kind of uh pick and choose what what your plans are for your base um so i figured a lot of defenses he would at least have to invest a reasonably sized kill squad uh to do so um so that was my goal with that uh let's look at uh the chambers and compartments elsewhere uh you cannot jump into this chamber uh, from entering into anywhere past this little tip or this little tip, right? If you go in here, you cannot jump. If you go in here, you, uh, right, you go look all the way around. So that queen's protected on the backside pretty much all the way around. Now, the other thing I thought was <clears throat> you cannot get the queen. And, I mean, it is a little bit of a stretch to get that DGB, but the, the best you can do is go through this queen chamber, through all of this high hip... Oh, come on. Of course. Sorry, guys. It's my dad calling me at the worst possible moment. <laughs> and I will call him right back. Um, anyhow, so you look at the base and you can... I guess enter the queen chamber, jump into the core, and get that DGB. So that is a bit of a concern. But if you look, I took some measures against that right that is a lot of high hit point stuff it's she's basically surrounded by it um to get to that dgb you know that clan castle is going to get in the way um you know you end up uh, meeting up with these expos but whatever uh that's probably the biggest flaw with my compartments i would say is this little intersection right here uh, but the whole purpose was i did not want him to be able to come in from 12 o'clock and jump over the queen chamber <clears throat> so that's why it had to be like that um yeah, so other than that, I think my apartment sizing was dead on. Uh, moving on to the pathing, DGB pathing, and traps and so on. Uh, the pathing is definitely pure for these DG, for this DGB, right? Um, it is clean cut going straight into that expo, right into that DGB from both sides. Whichever way you come in at it, it's, it's going to end up going that way. So uh, very pure DGB pathing in my opinion. I split up my single bombs as best as I could. Um, it really i mean really was uh was a tough base for the bombs i mean i struggled if you look at it there's only a few logical spots if i put a bomb in this compartment that means he's gonna get three bombs if he jumps does exactly the jump i was just talking about um you know putting the bomb up here he could get three bombs with the kill squad but he's not going to get the queen uh and then this one is just offset so now i put it in between these three defenses but you're going to see how it works out and the hogs completely miss it anyway so that was um you know the queen walk takes it out um anyhow overall uh bombs i did what i could i think with them uh you look at the spring traps next and I believe every spring trap, that one is a little iffy, but I think, you know, my idea was even hogs coming from this side and they go here are going to go back up to the spring. 
hogs from this side are going to go here or sorry back up through the spring to the tesla and then same thing from here they're going to go here to the tesla and over to the whiz tower so i think that one's a good one too um and then it's just the opposite exact same setup just the opposite over here uh spring trap looks good here spring trap looks good here uh, small bombs outside of the walls. Uh, you know, I really tried to. I obviously got one here on the queen chamber. Uh, tried to protect where I thought a queen charge might take place. Um, so did what I could with those. Uh, moving on to my air defense. No air defense is walkable. Uh, no air defense is uh, targetable by entering one compartment via a charge so what i mean by that is a queen charge coming in from the top here that ends up in either of these compartments is not going to be able to get this air defense and this air defense and then same thing if you come in from here you'll only get that one if you come in from here you'll only get that one you come in from here you will only get that one i think one two three four yeah i'm pretty sure that one is out of range from this little corner here i could be wrong actually i am wrong so uh there's a slight flaw to what i was thinking <laughs> i missed that when i built the base again i kind of rushed the finish of this base but um if you broke in from here and went up into here i had purposely moved this wall actually because i wanted to prevent that but if you look that is only that is only three spaces so that air defense is targetable i needed to move this wall uh one more space down which is actually what i had meant to do initially because then you cannot target that one and this one um but as it is right now, you can. Anyhow, so you come in from here, you're only gonna get that one. That one is four spaces away from this wall. Even if you come in here, um, you can get this one, but that one is four spaces from this wall, so you couldn't get that air defense. Uh, so that was kind of my idea with the positions of the air defense. Uh, I put the small, uh, sorry, red mines on the outside here near this kind of Tesla um, whiz tower trap, which by the way, that whiz tower is completely out of range. This one is, the, I, I struggled putting my whiz towers out of range of my air defense. This one's almost out of range of that one. I probably could have moved this air defense over one space uh, to make it even better. Uh, but these two are obviously in range of this air defense. But this little trap, so that's why I put the red mines there. Uh, put a red mine up here because this whiz tower is sort of unprotected. So I at least wanted a bomb to go off with a few whiz tower shots. And then if I, I was envisioning balloons coming in from this 12 o'clock, by the time they got to that Tesla, they'd all be such low health from the bombs and the whiz tower. Uh, that the Tesla hopefully and the Expo would finish them off because that Expo is set to air. That is also set to air. Uh, Tesla traps, right? I got the little farm there. Uh, put the one up there just for that reason. I felt that compartment was a little bit underprotected. Uh, anyhow, so yeah, that about cover. Oh, my black mines. Uh, you look at the black mines in here. Got the two black mines in the core. Uh, figured these were the least likely to get air defense. And no matter what, I kind of favored them towards the middle because you look at the way my air defense are set up. They are. They do look fairly close together, even though they're not targetable from one compartment to another. Um, however. If it, and no matter which of these air defense, potentially a kill squad got, the bombs are sort of favoring the middle so that it's still probably going to catch uh, la, um, Lava Hound pathing no matter what. Anyhow, uh, like if you look, look at the range on this one, it covers from this air defense straight up to this one. Um, it doesn't cover into here, but you guys get the idea of what I'm saying, right? They're all favoring the middle. Uh, so that was the idea there. Got my skeleton traps, one up way up top here where I do not think uh, Kill Squad is going to be coming in for that CC. Uh, and then kind of on the opposite side. The one over here was because um, I was thinking those two Wiz Towers look pretty juicy for a Queen Charge. Uh, one thing I really, really was worried about is exactly, in fact, what Caddick does to me. Uh, queen Charge coming in from here. I... Um, Put the sweepers there to try and thwart that or at least discourage it for the person to get worried. But Caddick knows better and goes ahead and just rocks right into it <clears throat> and takes it all out. But uh, the idea with this uh, skelly trap there was if a queen kind of came around this corner and got caught with those two Teslas on it and then had those skellies come out, she would have started targeting the skellies while the Teslas beat on them. And then the sweeper was there helping hopefully to maybe deter that queen charge. But uh, Caddick kind of comes from this more top position, takes out the arch tower by itself, then steps up, gets the cannon, is not even in range of these Teslas. I initially had them up right against the walls here to for that exact reason of what Caddick was doing, but I was still worried that th it wasn't going to be enough. Like a rage there was just going to take them out. So by moving them back, I actually 
really improved it because he sends in a hog to get the lure and the Tesla's pop take out the hog he only gets half the lure and wastes his poison which almost helps him um Anyhow, enough of my blabbing. You see my base. You see what my thoughts were. Um, not the most amazing base I've ever built, uh, but not a bad one in, in my opinion. It, it covers a lot of the fundamentals that Katic and I talk about day in and day out, um, right? So let's just find out how the master himself picks it apart. So as I had said, he comes in with the queen walk uh, from right at this location here. <clears throat> And it's just going to do exactly what I talked about. Just walk down, take out all these defenses, try and lure out the CC. Now, he does drop these early wizards. Um, this uh, little storage, in fact, I had sworn I moved in just for that reason, so that an archer would beat it. But I guess that wizard is at max range. Uh, so he's getting early buildings there, which is great, because that's where he's going to send these seven Valks and a golem with his king. Uh, once this little queen walk is done, so see that sweeper, it is doing work, but there's just not enough point defense there. Uh, I was hoping too like if you look when she gets down here and these two teslas pop you know it would have been super nice if um if they could have locked right onto her but look at the timing the hog tanks for her while she t takes out tesla one tesla two pops one at a time so completely fail uh it's so hard in my opinion to defend this i mean you try and think exactly how the queen's gonna attack buildings and it just doesn't happen but see how the early poison um so the teslas there were kind of a good thing because this witch ends up standing out of the poison for long enough does not step in it uh so she takes some time has to rage it up there uh he probably did not want to rage it up there but who cares he, he, he he's gonna have to use it at some point uh but the witch there doing some tanking right skeletons going in going in going in finally she'll work through them but as you can see now the other part he's like screw it i'll just start sending the rest of my attack here golem goes in wall breakers are good king goes in he's about to send in these seven valks all in a parade right behind oh they're already in <laughs> my bad doesn't doesn't even have to heal it there so there's that jump spell i was talking about that i was worried about because it is going to let everything in but these three hogs actually end up triggering the dgb all on their own i think you i think um the Valks were going to get there anyways, but uh, really nice, sorry, four hogs, suicide hogs in, boom, there go the bombs, see you later hogs, but he's got so many Valkyries in there, sends in the rest of his hogs, loses quite a few, see that skelly trap doing work on those hogs, yeah, that's right, that is right, get him down. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Caddox totally got this. That other bomb that was down here now negated by the Queen Walk because she took out those. She took out this Archer Tower, and then the hogs just go up to the mortar. There are no defenses to go. Caddox destroys my base like a boss with a swag heel in my face. You Dutch bastard. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Very nice hit, my friend. So guys. Don't get frustrated. Uh, one thing I have noticed, the Prime versus Invicta War is going on right now. And the Town Hall 9s on both sides are struggling. Like, this update is going to take a bit to get used to. We are so accustomed to that extra 30 seconds. We forgot how you know it, how difficult it really was to make sure your attack was under three minutes everyone's gonna have to be adjusting we're gonna have to be uh really utilizing these new valks because um you know that we are already utilizing them in town hall nine but they're even stronger there's funny stuff going around twitter about how strong they are and how long it's going to take supercell to nerf them because they are doing serious work as you can see they just totally shredded my base up with a swag heel in the bag for caddix so um, really nice war though guys uh, oh my point was you can follow all the fundamentals and you're still going to get three star it's going to happen you're still going to get first hit three star you know putting two hours into base uh, building the base don't get discouraged guys if it gets three first hit because it's going to happen there's nothing you can do about it especially when you got a knowledged uh, very good attacker like a guy like Caddick so um, anyhow props to everyone fantastic war um, I know someone else had done some content from it um maybe from the um uh from the temple rising side uh so check that stuff out guys uh if i get a link to to that content i'll definitely uh put it in the comments for this video but uh that'll do it here for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next tree star until then i'm out